Hey guys, it's Adam and Michelle from Adam and Michelle Carey. Thanks for jumping on our, I was just turning off the other Wi-Fi because uh, last time our signal cut out a little bit. So what is, uh, what's today? We're Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Happy Monday. And uh, we're thinking this four o'clock time frame, four o'clock Pacific, six Central and uh, seven Eastern uh, will work for you guys. So either way, you can catch the live or you can catch the replay, but we've got a We've got a topic that we were uh, Michelle and I were talking about this week, which is the myth of your destiny, mm -hmm. and we're gonna let Michelle kick this one off. All right. So I was actually listening to a podcast. I love podcasts. I don't know if you love podcasts, but one of my favorite podcasters is um, Chris Valentin. He's a pastor out of Redding, California, and he's just super funny. And what I love about him is he's super real. Hey, Junior, how's it going? And so I was listening to this podcast, and he said something that really pumped me up. And it has to do with your destiny. And I'm going to share exactly what he said. He said, the dogs of doom are at the door of your destiny. And when you get close, they bark. It's true. Yeah, very true. So meaning that when you're close to your destiny, things are going to happen. You know what I mean? Like things are going to go happen that are going to be wrong. You're going to have doubt. And so he also added, and this is the part that really got me, is he said instead of um, people retreat, instead of kicking their teeth in and moving forward. Yeah. And I just get really pumped up about that stuff because I, I just like had such a bondage of fear. And I, I finally learned how mm. to kick fear in the face. And so whenever <laughs> I... um meet somebody and they're fearful over something, I just always am passionate about telling them that they could kick fear in the face. Now there's one fear that I have I've got not. a hidden I've got a hidden chicken in this room yeah. I'm about to unleash on her so yeah. she can kick the <laughs> No, no, there's one fear that I promise one day you will see me get over my fear of birds and chickens and roosters. Like They're the birds vicious. with the talons, they just, I just can't get over that fear. I could do other yes, things. Yes, you can. You're telling people oh. to get over and you're saying you can't. Yeah, so. This is Facebook Live. We I can't know, edit right? this. Right. So you're saying that the the myth of your destiny, it's not supposed to be easy? Right. Like I thought it was just supposed to be a cakewalk. Yeah. It's like you were designed for something. Exactly. So let's get back on the path of, of your destiny. It's hey, Michelle, Jeff, Maria. Thank hey, you guys Jeff, for joining yeah, us. Maria, what's up? So the myth of your destiny is, this is what I used to believe. And I don't know if you believe this right now, or maybe it's something you used to believe as well is um, if you, your destiny is basically your talents intersecting with your purpose. So what I used to believe is if I am in line with moving towards my destiny, everything should go smoothly because of course God has his hands on it and um, I won't have any fear because I'm naturally talented at it. But recently, you know, we just had some doubts come in and, and fear that we had to um, kind of get over. And when I heard um, Chris Allerton talk about that, and I'm going to repeat it one more time because sure. we had some people jump on. What we'll Chris... post the, uh, we'll actually post it in the comments so you can have the link to that yeah. podcast. So let me repeat the quote that I heard on this podcast is, uh, the dogs of doom lay at the door of your destiny and when you get close, they bark. <laughs> And instead of retreating, you need to kick their teeth in and move forward, That's right? Good. And That's so good. we had to kick their teeth in and move forward. And I realized something in that moment is that um, when you're getting closer to your breakthrough, when you're close to discovering, even discovering your destiny, you're going to have a lot of opposition that's going to come in your way because the enemy, the last thing he wants you to do is, is know your destiny one thing and start to pursue it because he knows he has no power to, once you start pursuing it and you realize that he has no power in that, that he can't stop you because you are unstoppable. Come on. Um, but, but so there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be thrown at you. So what we want to encourage is, is maybe you're going through that is to encourage you to keep moving forward. If you're coming across fear, that's, that may be the exact thing that you need to be doing. Yeah. Well, um, Michelle actually used to be very fearful of getting in front of a room of people. And she <laughs> used to, before we got together, she, um, she told me about when she would see people on stage, she would really envy that and go, man, I would love to be able to do that someday. And she got her wish. And then she would be very fearful to get in front of the room. And she'd be like, no, 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 you do it. 
And um, she, after she would speak, women would come up to her and people would come up to her after just being very genuine and transparent and sharing her heart. And they'd be like, you really touched me. You really inspired me. I can't tell you how much like you've helped me. And just testimony after testimony after testimony. And uh, not that she's trying to, you know, be a stage hog or anything, because she's not. But she's 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 reaching people, and so that was one of the areas that you've had some fear yeah. to overcome. And one of the things I was thinking about before jumping on here is um, everybody here is unique. Think about this: like everybody that God made is very is is unique, is one of a kind. And I want you to think about. Are things that are one of a kind usually more valuable or less valuable? There's a word for it, and it's actually priceless. Hmm. And you're one of a kind, and you are priceless. And so what I'm getting at is you were, giving, you were given talents, skills, abilities. You were given a destiny. You were given a calling. Whether you believe it or not, like you are no accident. And I was talking with a buddy. He's actually on this podcast, Jeff. I'm very gonna give wise you, guy. Make you very wise. Well, not a wise guy, <laughs> <laughs> but a wise guy. Okay, yeah. not a wise guy, but a wise guy. So anyway. <laughs> I think they know what we're They know what we're talking about. <laughs> but I was talking to him a few weeks ago. We were having dinner, and he was sharing something really deep with me, and he opened up my eyes to something I'd never really thought much about. And he told me that he, that he believes, and I believe this too, that every person that, that God made – was given one thing that they could pursue and be be the best at in the world than anybody else. But here's the here's the catch, guys, is even if you've been given a talent or a skill, you still have to develop it. I mean, look at the athletes. It's, it's the Olympics right now, right? We've been watching the Olympics. Mm-hmm. Every gold medalist you see on the podium, do you think they showed up to the track or the swimming pool yesterday? I mean, you know... I was going to make a joke about some of the Olympic divers, but I won't. But even those guys, they've had to work really, really hard. And sometimes we just, you know, it's it's not a success, but it's definitely going to be a failure if you never attempt. So I just kind of wanted to get you to think about, you know, that, that you're priceless. Uh, you are made unique and that God's given you something specific that you could do that you'll be able to do better than anybody else in the world. Now, let me tell you something else is as you get better, your influence is going to go up. But guess what also is going to go up? The haters. The mo- and, and here's something. Michelle and I were having a conversation about this. The more haters that you get in your life, the more people telling you and, and, and criticizing you, I would cheer that on and I would get excited because you're, the, more, the more haters you have, it just means the more influence you're gaining. I don't care who it is. If it's John Maxwell, if it's Mother Teresa, if it's, it doesn't matter. Like they have people that are against them that are trying to keep them from their calling and from their destiny. And so we're getting pretty fired up about this topic, yeah. but you might be wondering how this even ties into some of the series that we've been doing. And we'll get to that. Yeah, I actually want to add something that just came to mind. Mm-hmm. And it's just that, how about if there's a fear of failure in your destiny? And I think that's probably the most common thing. Like, yeah. what what if I fail? Does that kind of prove that maybe it's not my destiny and it's not my talent or purpose? And there's going to be failure along the way. You know, it's just something that is a part of life. And um, you just fail for it, like John Maxwell says. But um, now I lost my train of thought on that. I have a quote to share <laughs> okay. while, while she's thinking you guys can write this down it's something i heard years ago and it's successful people fail more than failures do so i'll give that to you again successful people fail more than failures do because there's no bad experience there's only a learning experience okay now i got my train of thought back so here's the thing is um you know as you could tell like adam and i love jesus and we completely um we always talk about him just because it's just what we do. And so He's on this camera is, with us right now. Yeah. So this is what um <laughs> what kind of helped me get over that fear of failure is that um there's a God of the universe that's in your corner that wants you to get to your purpose and and walk into your destiny more than you do. I mean it's a, he put that in your heart. Mm-hmm. And so this is what happens when you fail or um you know maybe you veered off to the wrong direction and you should have done this. What he's constantly doing is recalculating like the GPS. You know, every yeah. time you make a wrong turn or, or- Hopefully we're back. Okay. Yeah. It's Stop going- <laughs> calling us while we're doing Facebook Live. It's going to be um, just like the British tone that comes rings in your car on your GPS recalculating. Mm-hmm. And so you could just know that, ev- that you're just going to have to move forward. No, don't push okay. yeah. No matter, you know, if you're fearful or if you failed, it's just the whole point is, is to keep moving forward. 
Yeah, we're getting phone calls that the Wi-Fi is disconnecting. Like we might think, well, maybe we're not cut out to do Facebook Live, but we're just going <laughs> to overcome these yeah. little challenges because here's what we know about perseverance. You only gain perseverance and character through the trials. So if you've yeah. never been through a trial, then your character and your and you probably don't have much character. You don't have much per, um, perseverance. So, gosh, we got voicemails, text messages. Okay. Anyway, it's a good time. People are available. Yeah. So, so anyway, circling back, um, you know, as you know, we're we're diving into something called cold cold market prospecting. Maybe you've been following it. Maybe not. Yeah. And how does this all tie in to what we've been? you know, training on very deeply this week. And you want to go over that? Yeah. Well, um, so Michelle and I are really passionate about the cold market because that's how we had to build our business in network marketing, you know, move to another state 1500 miles away. And we just had to get good at breaking the ice and making friends. And we've learned some things along the way that are effective and that are not, we're really trying to elevate the profession to do things, um, just more professionally and taking people's interests, um, and, and their agenda in front of our agenda. And so we actually released a product this week. We're right in the middle of it called Undercover Recruiter where I go out for the day and I prospect and I talk to people and I gather names and numbers. And we've got a whole bunch of other and, um, just bonuses and workbooks and videos and audios that go with that. If you're interested in learning more, you can simply go to adamandmichellecarry.com. Uh, is it backslash, forward slash? The slash. Okay, the slash. <laughs> cold dash market. So adammichellecarry.com uh, slash cold dash market. We'll put it in the comments as well. But what we wanted to let you guys know about is a webinar that we're hosting tomorrow night at 6 o'clock Pacific, uh, 8 o'clock Central, 9 o'clock Eastern. And we're going to be covering some of our secrets. And the, why, the reason why we covered this topic today, one, because we felt led to, number two, is it has everything to do with just overcoming fear and just kicking that, you know, those kicking those teeth in as Michelle talked about. And that's part of prospecting in the cold market is just building up enough courage to to share. And here's what I think is sometimes we we really wish we had more boldness, but sometimes it's really not about boldness. It's about believing in something so passionately that you can't help yourself but share it with other people. Does that make sense? There's a difference. Like 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 boldness is, is something you try to muster up, but when you're like convinced, when you're like sold out for something and you see a solution that you could provide for somebody, it just naturally comes out and it does with enthusiasm, it does with conviction. And so we'd love to have you on that webinar. Uh, we'll post the link so you guys can get registered. It's completely free and it's gonna have a lot of content. So we hope to see you, see you there tomorrow That's night. That's good. And I think we're gonna be talking about, you know, overcoming that fear once and for all. You know, this is, the things that we're teaching um, aren't just skills, to be applied for or applied to in business but it could be applied to like yeah. virtually any area of your life um but anyway circling back around to your destiny is as you're breaking into conversation with people out and about you could be the key to someone else's destiny have yeah. you ever thought about that you know you could be the the start of someone's journey to something great in their life and because you were uh, one bold and you showed open openness to start a conversation, whether it resulted in your business or not, or maybe it was something else that they needed. Um, like you could be the catalyst for changing people's lives just from, you know, that. So, and it could be simply, but just by giving somebody a resource, like our good buddy, Simon Chan from MLM nation, he was given the purpose driven life by Rick oh, yeah. Warren and that book totally transformed his mm -hmm. life. It trans it just gave him clear uh, vision for his purpose. Now he recommends that book to everybody and every podcast, every, uh, Facebook live I see him talk about he's just talking about his purpose because he's found it and now he's trying to help other people do that and that was simply by somebody giving him a book a resource and so it's more simple than you guys think like don't think that you gotta um, you know just have some some worldwide stage you know with with credibility around the world to do this like we could just do it with the people in our backyard and it's pretty simple to do yeah so Anyway, should we yeah. just close out saying that quote again? Because we had some... I think so. And I just want to thank um, Tracy. Thank you for yeah. uh, the compliment. And Julie. That's, that's awesome. really awesome. Yeah, yeah, she prayed and then came across... Okay. Well, this. I think then, you know, I would like to say it because she prayed and then came yeah, on. Boom. And yeah. Maybe it's something that you would bless you to hear. So anyway, we're on the podcast. Or we're listening to a podcast by uh, Chris Valentin. And he said, um, the dogs of doom lie at the door of your destiny. And when you get close they bark 
and instead of retreating, kick their teeth in and move forward. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's thanks, it for today. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys are facing opposition right now, you're probably closer than yeah. you think. Mm -hmm. Don't retreat. Just keep, keep your ground. Forward. Keep moving forward. You're only designed to move forward anyway. And uh, and, and stay, stay tuned in this week. We look forward to seeing you on the webinar and uh, just adding value to your business day in and day out. God bless you guys.